My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a 65 GTO here, by far one of my favorite cars. And this one here, I think, is the ultimate. What we've got here is a Pontiac Historical documented, red on red, real GTO, born a tri-power four-speed. This is the almighty holy grail of 65 GTOs right here. And it has gone through a complete nut and bolt rotisserie restoration. The car is practically like brand new. If you visit volocars.com, that's where you can study all the documentation and pictures and read all the specs and get the price. Not only on this one, though, we have a few hundred collector cars. And they're all for sale, so visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you click on that bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in this GTO Tri-Power 4-Speed. Uh, it's raining today. we got a metal roof, so there might be a little extra noise in the background. Uh, but anyway, we have a box full of documentation. They say there's 300 pictures of the restoration down to just a bare shell of a body on a rotisserie. Uh, and there's a stack of receipts in here. A lot of them are from Ames Performance. They are the Pontiac uh, people. They get you the best parts for Pontiacs. And the Pontiac historical documentation is in here as well. So very well documented. So they took the body off the frame. The whole chassis was stripped down, bare metal, primed, painted a gloss black. The whole suspension was rebuilt. The front end, the bushings, the ball joints, uh, shocks, springs, uh, everything was completely redone in the chassis and detailed. Uh, it has the original drum brake system on it, but they were completely restored. All the brake lines uh, does have an upgraded, uh, it's a stock fuel tank, but it's new and it's stainless steel and it's polished, has stainless steel straps, all new sending unit, new fuel lines. You look up at the motor, it's still like brand new, detailed. Uh, the M24 speed uh, is fresh and all new clutch and linkage. Uh, the rear end is rebuilt. It's the safety track, which is their posi. I think it's a 355, but go to the website to get the exact specs. But it is an original safety track, uh, you know, posi unit in the back. Also has a correct exhaust system with mufflers, and then it has resonators and the correct splitter tips. I think I seen the receipt it was like six or seven hundred bucks just for those tips coming out the back. Those are correct. So underneath the car is detailed like a model car. It's, it's like concourse condition under there. Then they put the body back on the frame with all new bushings. But actually the body was on a rotisserie and it's just like it sounds. It's on a rotisserie. You can flip the car on its side. Uh, the advantage of that is you only have some worker trying to get down here. You can flip it up and work at it from every angle and just do a better job. So it was a bare shell. They redid all the body work. It's outstanding. The fit and finish is excellent. Everything fits nice and square. Uh, these are, they make plastic uh, tail lights. These are the actual chrome. They've been restored. Uh, this chrome panel is restored. The bumper is redone. New gaskets in between here. New emblems. Big flat panel and it is laser straight. It's like looking at a red mirror. Smooth all along the bottoms. I love the look of the, uh, the red rim with the poverty caps, and these are pristine caps. It is upgraded with radial red line tires. Those are BF Goodrich tires. But the body, smooth. These gaps are spot on, all smooth. I didn't see any issues like cracking or bubbles. The paint, again, is just like, like beautiful gloss red paint. All of the trim, every piece of exterior trim is new or restored. Like all these moldings are straight, they're polished. Even the wipers, the wheel well trim, the grills are excellent shape. They've been restored. Uh, it has the T3 headlights. 
That would be what they originally had. It has the correct antenna, it's mint. Even the vent window frames, the rubber, the trim on top of the doors, it's all mint. And it's all red, no vinyl top. <clears throat> Born this way, red on red. So it's got a really cool look. Uh, the interior, we have pictures of it, completely gutted. They sprayed the metal, they sprayed the dash with a gun. It's just as slick as the outside. They put down something that's called rattle trap. It's a sound deadener that goes on the floors. And then they restored it from the floor up, and it's like brand new. This is all metal, clean metal, with a nice gray and white spatter finish. New insulation behind the seat. I see new wiring loom. It's all new wiring throughout the car. It's got the mats, it's got the spare. This is all painted gloss, new weather strip. It's beautiful in there. All the interior lights work. And I mean, this thing's restored. <clears throat> the, the pages of receipts just go on and on. The turn signal switch, the wiper switch, the ignition switch, the dimmer switch. I mean, the list just goes on and on. All the little things you don't think of. You think, oh, I'm going to restore the interior. We got carpet. We got upholstery. There's a million little things in here that were replaced, too. The console, I don't know if that's brand new or restored, but it's, it's pristine looking. And it is <clears throat> the original tri-power. I've checked the casting codes. I've checked the date codes. They match up with the car. The correct stamp on the front, I think, is WS. That's the 360 horse tri-power. Completely rebuilt. We have pictures of it. Uh, you know, new pistons. Uh, completely professionally redone. Carburetors are all restored correctly down to the paper air filters, the right fuel lines. Uh, even has right date coded spark plug wires on there. So the jams are just as slick as the outside, the hardware, the weather strips, the wind, uh, window seals, the sill plates, all that's done. Uh, has the deluxe seat belts, which back then was the front seats only. This also has the rally gauges. The whole dash is restored. All the bezels and gauges and instruments are beautiful. New dash pad. Uh, inside the glove box is new. Uh, steering wheel is repainted. The AM radio works. I tried it when I pulled it in here. Um, the seats were completely taken down. New cushions, new burlap, uh, legendary upholstery, headliner, visors, dome light works. The mirror is new heater control panel, uh, the vents, the pedals, uh, everything in here is just beautiful. The little buttons that turn on the interior lights, all redone. Does have uh, power brakes, and even this is the correct unit. Uh, something about a signature, the right stampings or something. I found it in the receipts. It's a correct power brake unit. It's also power steering. And all the components in here are redone. The wiper motor, the hinges, the insulation. It's all painted professionally and beautifully. Reproduction hoses and clamps. Uh, the right valve covers, they've been re-chromed. So just a, a show quality, like, just like it came out of the factory, uh, motor compartment here. The shroud, the radiator, all that's redone. We'll start it up for you. It's got 600, no, 872 miles on it that since it's restored. So they did drive it some. Bugs should be worked out of it. It's got a Hurst 4-speed in here. Not quite warmed up yet. And I just noticed the gauges light up nicely. Motor's quiet, no ticking, no noises. All the glass is excellent. I know it's a new windshield, and I think I've seen a receipt for a new back window. I don't know if the side glass was replaced or not. 
Got some smudges on it, but it looks new. So here you have it, my opinion, the ultimate 65 GTO. Got to have the tri-power. I've owned several of these, and if you don't have the tri-power, that's the first question everyone asks. Does they have the tri-power under the hood? I hated telling people no. Uh, so you got to have the tri-power. So many of them, the tri-power was added. This one was born this way, documented, red on red, tri-power four-speed. And I'm noticing maybe... Uh, the headlights out so of course we'll take care of that visit volocars.com plenty of ways to contact our salesman i just gave you my honest impression of what i know about the car and what i see if you have specific questions or concerns feel free to ask them they will help uh, with the car and the whole process delivery financing paperwork they'll take care of all that for you visit volocars.com just enjoyed watching the video as much as i enjoy making them Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that's posted. Thanks for watching.